Looks like we have a new playground for deploying AI agents on the web. Allow me to introduce Surf.new. This is a new application for you to deploy web agents to automate almost anything, from scraping content to collecting a list or even bypassing captchas. Surf.new is something that is 100% free and open source and you can easily get started with it today. It uses steel.dev for its AI browser, it uses Langchain for AI orchestration as well as processing, and it lets you use any large language model, whether that's locally through Olama or through an API provider like OpenAI, DeepSeek, as well as Anthropic. And what's nice is that Surf.no lets you access and switch between two different browser agents. We've all heard of browser use, which is a state of art web agent. You can also use a web version of cloud computer use with Surf.no, but this is something that's currently in experimental mode. In my opinion, I would highly recommend using browser use. And the reason why is because browser use agents are recording the highest benchmark score on the web agent accuracy test. You can see it's achieving an 89 percentage, whereas OpenAI's operator is achieving an 87 percentage on this test. Just take a look at this demo of surf.new in action. It's essentially scraping a site for companies and filling out a Google Doc and you can see that right now it's finding out the best sort of companies based off the prompt that was sent in. And you can see that the command was to paste all of those different companies into a Google Doc form. And I was able to do this quite quickly. Before we get started, I got a huge new update. This is where I've launched a new newsletter. This is something that's going to be sent out on a weekly basis. And it's essentially going to be updating you on the latest AI advancements comparison of different large language models, AI news, as well as ranking different AI agents. So definitely go ahead and subscribe to this because you don't want to miss out on free AI news. Now, if you're interested in getting started with this, you can obviously access their cloud demo, or you can go ahead and locally install this completely for free and having it connected to Olama. And this is something that I'll showcase later on in the, to the video. But just to give you a good rough idea, Let's go ahead and have it collect a list where it's saying go to Hacker News and summarize the top five stories for me, format your response in Markdown. So right away we have sent this in and you'll see that this is a pretty sleek UI for you to work with in terms of having the agents deployed. And like I mentioned, you can choose between two different agents. This is something that you can select on the bottom. You have the ability to configure the agent, the browser agent, as well as the cloud steel agent, which is something that I wouldn't use as it doesn't give the same performance as the browser agent. Now you can also configure the model provider on the web demo. You can only select between two OpenAI and Anthropic, and I believe they're going to be adding more providers. But obviously, if you're going to be locally installing this, you're going to have more flexibility. But essentially, you can see that it was able to go ahead and complete this task for us, where it was able to list out the five top stories from Hacker News, and it was able to drop it down on the left-hand chat panel, which is nice. So I'm just playing around with it. I'm sending over three different steps. Go over to my channel, find the top five performing videos, and then paste them into an online notepad. Now, usually... It would require me to paste it into Google Docs, but it's going to ask me for signing in to the actual account. So I'm just saying find me an online notepad to do this and you can then find one that doesn't actually have a login. So right now it has searched up my channel. It's going to then go ahead and click on it and then I believe it will go over to videos and sort through top five performing uh, videos. And there we go. It has now went over to the videos tab and it's sorting through the popular videos. It's gonna then collect all five, Fabric, DeepSeek, Bolt, uh, fine tuning video, and then another root code video. And I believe once it has taken those five videos, you can see on the left side, it's now searching up a notepad and we should have it then paste it into that notepad. Uh, this is just awesome guys you can see this live in action and it's capable of doing this pretty quickly it is now going to paste in the top five performing videos and you can see it is putting on fabric and then it's going to paste in the other four remaining top five performing videos so now that we have taken a look at a couple of examples you can now get started and install this locally with the following steps 
but in this case you're going to need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled you're going to need to make sure that you have git installed it's going to help you clone the repository onto our desktop you'll need node.js python as well as vs code this is going to be helping us configure the environment variables so once you have those prerequisites fulfilled head over to this github repository link which i'll leave a link to in the description below and i will also leave all the other links that i use in today's video in the description but now what i want you guys to do is search up uh your command prompt and once you have opened it up you want to then paste in this link that we just or this code that we just copied which is git clone the repository link once it finishes cloning surf.new we can then head over to the repo link by typing in cd surf.new so i'm just going to simply go ahead copy this and then paste it in once it finishes cloning then what you want to do is go ahead and install the front end dependencies so copy the npm install command and paste it into the directory it's going to start installing everything that's necessary and once that is done you can then go over and set up the back end dependencies and this is where you're going to need to create a virtual environment so that you can keep this contained within that environment so go ahead paste this in this will create the virtual environment and then afterwards you're going to need to run this command to start it up so i'm going to use the windows command to start up the environment so now that i have it activated i'm going to then install the back end dependencies now with the pip install command and once that is done we can then go over to vs code and set up the environment variables so i've opened up vs code i clicked on file clicked on open folder and you're essentially opening up the surf.new folder that you just cloned and once you have done that head over to the env.local example file and what you're going to need to do is configure your api keys to do this it's super simple you're going to need to go first into vs code you're going to need to rename this file to env local just take out the dot example and once that is done you want to then type in steel underscore api underscore key because this is required for you to run this locally you can easily sign up completely for free this is just a browser infrastructure for ai agents and you can get the api key once you create an account and then paste in that key over here and then afterwards you want to then paste in based off the provider you can also configure it so that you can use olama and if you do not know how to set this up i definitely recommend that you reach out to their discord because they have a guide that showcases how you can set up olama in my opinion it's best to use openai deepseek or anthropic so just simply go ahead and use those api keys but if you're going to be wanting to use olama uh, so that it's free you can definitely refer to their discord and essentially once you have set your keys you want to then click on file click on save and then you can close this and once that is done you can then run and deploy the server with the npm run dev command so simply go ahead and paste this in and this will then start up on your local host so you want to then copy this and then you can then access it on your web browser by going over here and pasting in this link and then you're going to be able to now access surf.new once it finishes deploying the server and there we go we can now access it right over here if you like this video and would love to support the channel you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different ai tools for free on a monthly basis plus daily ai news and exclusive content plus a lot more overall this is definitely a great new playground for you to deploy ai agents and it's a bit more easier for you to use these different browser use agents with this new ui and essentially you can automate almost anything locally completely for free having this integrated with olama so i definitely recommend that you try this out with all the links that i use in today's video in the description below you can go from automating your resume to scraping websites it's definitely amazing and this is something that's open source and it's going to be continuously built upon forward now i'll leave all the links in the description like i said make sure you follow me on the patreon as well as the newsletter follow me on twitter and lastly make sure you guys subscribe turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you'll truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas